A historic aviation challenge involving 20 South African teenagers set to embark on a Cape to Cairo and back excursion in a self-assembled Sling 4 aircraft that uses ordinary motor fuel and was built in only three weeks. The journey that is scheduled to start on the 12th of June 2019 will see different teams of the 20 teenagers pilot and charter a course that will cut across several African cities and towns, spreading the key messages of an African narrative that started as a dream. We're now joined in studio by pilots Drian van den Jeffer and Abel Lamini to give us more information firsthand about this project. Jens, it's great to have you. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming. Thank you very much. Abel, let me start with you. Uh, what, what gave rise to this project? How did this actually come about? Uh, it was Megan's idea. She wanted to uh, do something that was great, that's going to inspire uh, young folks out there. And I Unfortunately, joined in after the project <laughs> is uh, midway. Did so, you yeah. start regretting it somewhere along the line? No, absolutely not. not. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I'm part of this project. Okay. Yeah. Drian, uh, talk to us mm. about your involvement in the setup. I'm the safety pilot for this whole trip. So I'm doing the whole flight from Cape Town to Cairo with Megan and back. And um, my responsibility is to make sure that our documents are correct. And um, when the pilots have any issues with the aircraft, they come to me and consult consult me with, uh, with the issues. Sure, that sounds like <laughs> such a big responsibility. <laughs> oh, well, with a big responsibility. <laughs> yeah, sure. Abel, speak to us um, about this challenge and, and what exactly it entails. Uh, we, uh, well, teens have built a plane already. We're going to fly it from Cape Town to Cairo and back. They're going to, exp well, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to come off midway. Uh, they're going to experience uh, challenges mm. like uh, bad weather, uh, flying over mountains, flying at high altitudes, low level because of the mountains, things like that. Uh, it's going to be uh, challenging. It's going to be uh, challenging to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. And, and I want to speak about the building of this, uh, uh, what do you call it, sling four plane. Yeah. What goes into that? It all sounds so very complicated to someone like me who's got no idea how aviation works. It is complicated, and I'm not an engineer <laughs> either. <laughs> I joined in after they've done building the plane. Yeah. So maybe uh, Drian, yeah. do you have well, anything yeah, to this, say to that? This aircraft comes in, it's not just you have the fuselage and your two wings that you add. This thing comes in thousands of pieces. And um, for 20 teenagers, some of them don't even know how, what tools are used and how to use those tools. So it was a whole process to go through and, and teach them how to use it. And um, with the correct supervision, they would learn how to use the tools and um, they assembled this aircraft. And yesterday, we had our maiden flight with that plane and she flies beautifully. Sure. Yeah. And there are 20 uh, members of, mm. of, that make up this team. What's that been like working with so many people and so many personalities who all have a, <laughs> a, a, a shared goal yeah. but must be all very different? No, it is, it's, it's, a, it's interesting because you have all these different personalities to work with. Like you, the 20 teens that are the building team, we had to work with and had um, mutual understanding on certain aspects. And, and, so, and the communication is very important with each other that we know where we stand and, and what jobs ha have been done and what jobs need to be done. Mm. So it, we need to have a clear communication to avoid a lot of conflict. Sure. This. And then, uh, Abel, just speak to us about your role and how you've been supporting these teens who are about to embark on this incredible journey. <laughs> okay, I helped out with the flight planning, uh, the over flight clearances, uh, the maps that they're going to need. And I'm also going to be flying the tour over South Africa and from Cape Town to uh, Luderitz uh, in Fintuk, and then I'll be flying back. You, yes, you mentioned that you, you, you're getting off halfway. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, so that every <laughs> pilot gets a chance to fly, because oh. it's only a two-crew plane. Oh, I yeah. see. Sheesh. And I mean, what are you, would you say you're most looking forward to uh, in this experience? <laughs> oh, is it idea, the flying aspect of it? Is it um, seeing sightseeing, different places? Seeing, seeing the uh, other parts of Africa that yeah. I've never mm. seen. Yeah, yeah and for you, Drian? It's the different cultures. I, I'm extremely excited to see and meet different people, experience different um, cultures and, and just enjoy the sights with my friends that I have been building a very close bond with through this whole project. Mm. Mm. Now, I mentioned in the intro that, uh, I mean, part of why you guys are doing this mm. is to spread, you know, the African mm. um, narrative around aviation. Why is that important? This is important because people 
look at themselves and believe they, they can't do anything. And this, is, this whole project is an inspiring project for teens and even older people to realize you can do whatever you want to if you put your mind to it. And mm. I mean, who, there are, have been so many different challenges and um, people that told us and asked us, okay, 20 teens holding a plane, is it even possible? Yeah. And we flew the plane You've yesterday. Done it. <laughs> so that is one of the major challenges that we have overcome and it is inspiring to me. I got chills yesterday just sitting in that plane. It was, it was amazing. All right, very quickly, Abel, just tell us about some of the preparation that you've had to do personally or as a team, just to get ready. We had to uh, learn to, we had to learn each other. <laughs> we went to a, a, a camp where yeah. we spent the weekend together and we got to know each other better so that we can tolerate each other <laughs> during the trip so we don't fight <laughs> and things like that. No, we definitely yeah. don't want to fight pilots. <laughs> so yeah, we had to learn each mm, other yeah. and uh, we, done the safety procedures, we did our safety courses, and mm. we make sure we all have our licenses. <laughs> ah, awesome stuff. Yeah. James, thank you so much for coming. Abel, Drian, it was thank a pleasure you. to have you here. All thank the best. That was two of the six pilots on the Cape Takaro trip. Drian van den Yeffer and Abel Damini speaking to us about their forthcoming excursion, earmarked to start on the 12th of June. What an experience. Young people just do incredible things.